And in another narration, Rashid ibn Sa'ad relates that Muawiyah said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, there's no doubt that if you focus, there's no doubt that if you focus on the faults of the people, you will corrupt them. Abu Darda said, this was a word that Muawiyah heard from Allah's Messenger, may Allah bless and grant him peace, by which Allah benefited him. By which Allah benefited him. So al Hassan dies, and as a result of that, Muawiyah feels no longer any need to keep the promise which was given to him to hand it back over to the Khilafah back over to him. So instead, he turned the Khilafah over to his son, Yazid ibn Muawiyah. Yazid ibn Muawiyah was a very unrighteous individual, although not during his, pro his father's lifetime, but later after his father's death, these things would come out, that he was a drunkard, that he was a very unrighteous individual, he was a tyrant, that during his reign, many, many, many of the Muslims have been killed and massacred. Many of the Sahaba, most of the Sahaba in Medina, in one particular instance, have been massacred. Uh, the Kaaba had been destroyed during his time, on his time when he tried to kill Abdullah ibn Zubair, who had rebelled against him, uh, as well as at Hussein, the other son of Ali ibn Abi Talib, who the Shi'is say is the third of the Imams, that he was also killed by or under the rule of Yazid ibn, ibn Muawiyah. Uh, he was killed, and it, said, it is said that he, he brought, his head was brought back. His head was cut off and brought back to Yazid, and Yazid stored it away in his munitions closet or his weapons closet, and it remained there for a number of, a number of years until the time of uh, Suleiman ibn Yazid. So he cut off his head. So, so a lot of things had occurred during this time. And this is probably what we can say the, the, the greatest uh, point of, of blame or the, the basis for the blame that, that the Shia have used to launch against Muawiyah. Because basically the logic is, 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 is this, it goes like this. Abu Sufyan and Muawiyah who both accepted Islam on the day of the conquest of Mecca. They only accepted, it, accepted Islam by force but they, it wasn't a, a sincere acceptance of Islam. It was only accepted in order to camouflage their true intentions, which, had, which were, were to retake over, to reclaim control of Mecca and the other Arab tribes. Because Banu Umayyah ruled the Arab tri tribes prior to Islam, and so they wanted to rule again. They had the strongest... Um, very solid and they were very firm and they were very fermented a uh, uh, very group very strong group tight-knit group who who had uh, much uh, uh, influence amongst the Arabs before and after uh, the coming of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Muawiyah actually so, so, so for them Muawiyah is to blame for the death of Al-Hussein and also it is Muawiyah to blame for appointing his son Yazid Point is that Yazid who would then go and to commit these horrendous acts, or his generals uh, would go to commit these 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 horrendous acts.